Welcome to 5 tips for advanced UE5 learners. Today, well, I give you 5 tips. It's pretty self-explanatory. I also have another video for beginner learners, so also check that out afterwards too. Maybe there will be some stuff you don't know there, so yeah. Let's get to this video. Tip number 1. Testing to the first person character. I'm not sure about the tutorials now, but when I was learning Ariel, every time I wanted to cast to the first or third person character, I did not know what to put in the object. Well, the answer to that is really, really simple, and you might know the solution already. You just get player character. That's it. Am I the single one that did not know this for his first 8 months of learning? Tell me in the comments. Tip number 2. Using functions. This and the next one are probably the most important ones on the list. For good game flow and for everything, it's best to use functions. Let's say that you pass through this box collision. When that happens, I need to call a function in another blueprint. For me, it's this one right here. To do this, we have to create a blueprint interface. Right click and just spell that. The blueprint interface is just something that says, okay, this function was called, we go through the interface and we go ahead and trigger an implemented function. But wait, I can go ahead and just call this function by typing its name. I can also rename it, add inputs and outputs to it in the blueprint interface. But how do I implement it? Well, it's really easy. You go to the blueprint, you need it in, go to class settings, go to implemented interfaces, and add your interface. Then, here you will have all functions. Go ahead and implement the event and here we go. This will get triggered when you call this other blueprint. Alright, compile. Wait, it's, it's not working. Well, it's because Unreal needs more info on where the function actually is. Tip number 3. Get actor of class. See? You can have a lot of implemented functions. Ariel needs to know which one to call. To do that, you need to plug in here the blueprint in which you want to trigger the function. To do that, you get actor of class. Select the blueprint and this outcome is where your function actually is. It's that simple. Very, very useful stuff to know. Tip number 4. Scaling down textures. When you import textures to Unreal, the quality of those textures might be way too high for what you actually need. To fix that, you need to change the maximum texture size. To do that, filter everything in your project by texture, select them, and go ahead and bulk edit them. Go here to maximum texture size and change it. It's best to change it to powers of 2 like 20, 48, 10, 24 or 5, 12 and so on. I usually use 10, 24. Also the editor might crash many, many times. If it does, don't select as many textures, or there might be a texture that doesn't want to get changed, just don't edit that one. Tip number 5. I don't know why so few people talk about this. To make a main menu, a pause menu, or anything that requires a mouse movement and using, you would use get player controller and set show mouse cursor to draw, or to false to hide it. The problem with that is that after showing the mouse, you need to click once to get back in the game and click again to actually press the button. This is really scuffed and just annoying. To fix that, after you show the mouse cursor, put in this node. Set input mode UI only with the player controller. And when hiding the mouse, use set input mode game only with again the player controller. much nicer. And with this, we came to the end of this video. I hope these tips helped you, sub if they did. Thank you for watching, see you next time.